Or she want to take advantage of my kindness. And now you want it back. <laughs> but you can't get it back. And now you're dying without it. Ain't it crazy how God works? And they don't be understanding this shit. Because they don't want to go and bow down to God. Niggas is getting mad. Niggas is getting frustrated, family. <laughs> I said, man, they can't fuck with you. That's why, that's why niggas be getting mad, bro. Like, like, like. For real, bro. On some real shit, bro. Niggas be lame as fuck, bro. Like, niggas be lame as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And since everybody don't want to act like that with that shit, okay, let's play checkers. From now on, every nigga I run into who say with that shit, but's not really with that shit, I'm going to gas your stupid ass. I'm going to gas you, you feel me? That was some real shit. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. You know, people, people gonna respect this game. People gonna respect God. People gonna understand God. People gonna understand where I'm coming from. You understand what I'm saying? And another thing that I was gonna say is, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it was something about the uh, what was it? It was something about the Bible. Right. The world, the, the Lord's words is the strongest dope out here. So all you dope fiends who like to tweak and do all that extra shit, right? Mm -hmm. Open this book up. Open this book up right here, man. Open it up. Open it up. This the Bible. Open it up. Nigga, and once you open up this Bible, you can stop being mad at me. Nigga, you can't defeat God. God is undefeated. I'm undefeated. You wonder why I'm with God. Why can't we penetrate his armor? Why can't we get these people to back up and back down? Why can't we break these castle walls? Because everything I learned, you know, I do when my strength comes from the Lord. And you think the Lord is a game and a joke. But as you know, as you see me, I ain't no joke. <laughs> but you want to play. It make you look stupid. You want to say, then now it's the power of the Lord, but bitch, look at me. You, you don't want to come to the Lord, but I'm so I'm so magnificent. It, it, like, it's crazy. Like, you know? So all you dope fiends who like smoking dope, getting high, who like to tweak, come get high off this word. Come get high off this spiritual ascension. Into the fifth dimension. You see what I'm saying? Make a choice to be positive, to receive positive energy. Make the decision to not be no cornball ass nigga out here that's, you know, ass backwards going against what we pushing for. Yeah, man. Man, leave, leave all that other shit alone because you, you know what I'm saying? This, this right here is exactly what you need. You know what I'm saying? This how I don't come down, you know. It, it, it ain't no, you don't got to pay for it, you know. And it's clean, you know. So, uh, I'm getting high on Jesus, like. 
Yeah. Niggas just, you, you gotta be equipped, my guy. You gotta be equipped, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get down with this, get down. It's time for change. I'm done talking from now on, I'm done talking. From now on, I'm done talking. For real though. You gotta make a change. Look at what's going on in the world right now. The kids are scared. The parents are worried. The millennials have extra pavements in the road when they're supposed to be their their time of coming up and you know their time to shine. Everything going on in the world is like you got the millennials fucked up because. Older people has lived their life and did what they're doing. Young people, they're still living a young life. But as millennials, our time is precious. And everything that's going on, all these setbacks and shutdowns and stuff like that. You know, um, yeah, it's not, it, it, it's not fair to the millennials, you know. And it, it's time for a change because this shit is fucking with your future. This shit is slowing you down because this is your time to shine. So all you millennials, y'all should come together right now and see what exactly is going on. We getting slowed down. The older generation didn't have to get slowed down. We're going through so much, it's crazy. And I won't mind that you should want yours. Don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you, man. Listen. God has a plan for you. Once you understand the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you come into realization of the fact that if it wasn't for Jesus and God's grace, you know, we wouldn't be able to, you know, live this life that God has for us on this earth or anywhere else. But we won't go to Mars. But we won't go to the moon. Like, you know what I'm saying? No matter on Earth or not, the life that we got was from above. No matter how far we go out, no matter where we go, the origins of seed from where we came from was from this Earth, and that came from God. See? We in the kingdom wars. People want their kingdom and God wants his kingdom. And in the end, you will find out that this is God's kingdom. And but then in the, but you will find out too that earth, you know, is not really a place where God really likes. He likes us, but he likes really, he doesn't really like the earth. Like he likes the humans and stuff, but everything that's going on down here, he he is like there's nothing joyful about it here except the gospel of Jesus. Everything over here ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything is just evil and old and wicked. Like there's no fun, God. God, I don't know, I don't know God. God, I was like, God, I believe in fun, right? So why why would God come here when it's like y'all oh, motherfuckers can't get together and how are we gonna party with? It's not worth coming back down here, you know, because you motherfuckers can't get together. You know, it say that in the Bible. If you motherfuckers come together, you know, God will come back. 
But why would God come here to this earth for y'all not even all the stuff that y'all doing? Like, why would the God who created life itself want to be here with you niggas? Why is God supposed to like you? Why is God supposed to accept you? I don't know why the Lord accept me, but why does the Lord have to accept you? And if you don't know the gospel of Jesus Christ, you can't answer that question. Why are you here? Does God really love you? The answer is, Yes. You think God don't love you, but you just don't love yourself, so you can't love God. So how can somebody love someone else when they don't love themselves, right? God makes you love yourself, so then you can love God. You, How could you love God but not love yourself? And love that in your body there's no source where the love come out of to give the Lord to. So what love is the Lord receiving from you if you don't have love in your heart to begin with? Where is the source of love that's coming from you going to God? You have to love yourself first. The truth is you don't love yourself. You go around all day and night acting like a giddy two-shoe, but you go home at night, you look in the mirror, you cry, you drown yourself in alcohol, you be getting fat, and you be doing all this extra shit. Because y'all don't want to come to the Lord. Told you I'm going to gas you, right? This, this is what you want. This is what you want. I'm going to give it to you. Hey, you can get it like Burger King, you know what I'm saying? If this is what you want, you can have it your way, though. For real. Like, nigga, ain't too much to say. And, yeah, this message right here is really understanding that people lost and they need a fix. Well, get fixed on this dope shit right here. Cab Network. Get down with the get down. We're here all day, Monday through Friday, dropping new videos every day. So if you want any type of teachings of spirituality, you need any type of healing, wisdom, guidance, therapy, nurturing, anything of that sort. Um, you need any ideas. You need help uh, mastering your mind. You need help being street smart. You need help being book smart. You need help being Bible smart. You need help understanding what it is to be a parent. You need help understanding what it is to be living, functioning society, coming out of a correctional facility. Anything like that, come to here. I've been through it all. You know what I'm saying? I know you probably been through it all. So let's go through this shit together. Cause niggas don't really feel us like that. We gonna make these niggas feel us. Bro. We finna make niggas feel us though. They feel the pressure though. They, they know niggas creeping up, popping out that bush though. Like, pick a boo, bitch. I'm here. Like, where's it at? You know what I'm saying? You thought it was a joke. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you niggas running is their mouth and their feet. So let these niggas talk. I'm gonna keep on. Oh my God, now I'm saying this too, like, about Jesus and how God has just been so good in my life, my family, my, how my pastor has really changed my life and made me a better man, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting to these Bible studies and the more I live life, the more I humble myself and learn that life is not a joke and you can die right now, you can die tomorrow. And that's anybody, anyone that you love can go. Anything can happen to anybody. And every day that we wake up, that's another day. And I thank God for another day. And I start to really understand and love the Lord. Because I, I, I'm i a peaceful person, you know what I'm saying? I'm a quiet one, you know what I'm saying? And I be in the background and shit. And I, 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 I say what I need to say. And I make sure my people fed. And if it's not on this basis of... My niggas ain't hungry, you already don't need nothing, we ain't trying to talk. 
I could be in the room, my nigga slap hands. We ain't said one word for 10 hours straight. That's my boy. I don't even have to say that. Like, nigga, we don't even have to say anything, bro. You feel me? Niggas, I be with don't say nothing about anything because how we was brought up. You feel me? What's up, bro? And then we don't say no word the whole time. We just playing the game and shit. These niggas ain't said one word. Like, do these niggas conversate? Like, nigga, no. We, feel me? we really that close that we... We could just be around each other and not say a word and be around each other all day and not even have to say nothing because that's how we rock. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you right now that leave this shit alone. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit that go on that they tell you like it's the dark side of the moon. But you see the light side of the moon? It's a lot of shit that they don't tell you about. They talk about the good, but they don't tell you about the bad. And like my church lady always said, Miss Everston, she said, trouble was easy to get into and hard to get out of. You know what I'm saying? And it's the consequences that people don't think about. The consequences of not giving your life to the Lord. Too late. You want to say, wait till you're 80, 80 or 90 years old. You know what I'm saying? Or 100. Like 101. You niggas, some niggas to do it. To 127 years old. To live. And get a life to God. But I'm telling you right now. You can't see. You, you would. Like they say, oh, a tree could fall on you. You know what I'm saying? You take your last breath right now. You would never see God again. And you would never see life again. Because you decided... To, to, too late to give your life to God. I'm telling you right now, it's time to give your life to God. You don't have time to wait. The time is now. Don't you see everything is going on? These are the last days. You should be terrified right now. If you don't come to the light, God is coming soon. If you don't come to the light right now, knowing it's the last days, who the fuck raised you? Common sense telling you if this the last days, how long do you think you got if they say this the last days? If these the last of them, you don't have years. You only have fucking days. Motherfucker. Like, uh, like, uh, what's that shit called? The, the grudge or shit? Seven days. Let me call you. Watch this video. Be like, Seven days. <laughs> yeah, nigga. You don't have months, man. It doesn't say in the Bible these are the last months. These are the last years. It said these are the last days. And one of these days, when you when God comes back or cut your water dry. And you don't give your life to Jesus, it'll be too late. You're gonna be in. I'm terrified because I know niggas are not, some of you niggas are not gonna listen. Do all the preaching, do all the time God took, you know, and messages for motherfuckers to, to, to get this understanding of this Bible. All the time God put in everything. And, 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 and it's like, what, what the fuck are you doing? You gotta respect God more. You need to respect the Lord more. You're going to hell. And can't nobody save you. And Satan's going to laugh at you. Because he tricks you. You think he loves you. Satan don't love you. When you burn in the hell, you can say, save me, Satan. I, I thought you were on the world. Save me. Satan will be like, Satan going to be laughing. Ha, 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 ha. And that's why a lot of these niggas mad because, you know what I'm saying? They didn't get their life to the enemy and they mad that they can't receive light again. They mad that their spirits are getting tormented. They are mad that they got to go to hell. So you got to stay away from them people because, you know, fire is coming. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to be like them. So give your life to God right now. Tomorrow is not power. Remember that.